Answer me. Answer me! She will cheat on you, and there's nothing you can do to prevent it. It's not your fault. You, episode 9. Welcome to Manage for High Ledge Daily. When your partner has cheated, it hurts tremendously. Many people describe this situation as a stab in the back. Some also experience the sensation of a nauseating, burning feeling deep in their stomach. You, episode 9, shows very well the fact that you cannot prevent a woman from cheating. We will break it down in three chapters. 1. She will find a way to cheat. 2. It's not your fault and it's not his fault either. 3. Don't fight and don't take her back. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Salute! The original video is going to be on Patreon because we have to respect the YouTube guidelines. That's why you will get a censored and filtered YouTube friendly version. Certain clips will be frozen or excluded. So if you like what we do and you want to experience our content to the fullest extent, support us on Patreon. This video contains a lot of spoilers, so you've been warned. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do, because we met and we... She... I thought we said no phones. I'm sorry, buddy. It's just my brother. You should, you should answer. No. Okay, I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. It was a solid excuse at the time, but I've scoured your social media and you don't have a friend. Emma from Brown. The good old, it's my brother, it's my best friend excuse. She already cheated on you right there. When talking about cheating, there's a rule of thumb. Anything you cannot say or do in front of your significant other. So the moment she has to hide or lie about who she's talking to or is calling her phone, she is already cheating on you. Now here is the problem. Check this out. Who's Elijah? Give me my phone, Joe. He's not your brother. I know that. Give me my phone back. Is Elijah going to be there? Don't start this again. It's just business, Joe. Yeah, for you it is, but guys like this are predatory. I don't think you should go alone. You're not coming with me. Why? So he can at least think that he can get you into bed? Exactly. This is where you bail because you cannot stop her from cheating. Joe caught the signs early and confronted Candace and she clearly doesn't care about the relationship. Another excuse, it's business. If this is the way your woman wants to conduct her business, get out. A while back, we made a video about a Russian therapist. Check this out. What's going on? I see so many women who are trusted fully their husbands, and then two years later they come, they said, I found out that he was cheating on me for a year and a half. It's her responsibility. If she would have caught it right away on the first... Hold on, stop. Stop. Yes, yeah, stop. 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 Hold on, stop. Lies, you guys are loud, but you're not telling me... Stop. 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 Both of you, stop. Stop, stop. I, I, I can handle it. I can handle it. But calm down your emotions, okay? Stop. And I'll explain. Be open to listen to something else, even though I know that you, you get your point and you're the way you are. So, if a woman can catch a text on the first or second evening, she can confront it and have a, such a dialogue that she will let him know that this is not acceptable. But to her, she will see there's a symptom of the problem. There's a problem in the marriage. When a husband or wife starts to cheat, that means something is really not working. And that means there's so many red flags. Now it's time for therapy. Now there's time to work at the marriage. And not come two years later, wow, I'm such a victim. He was cheating on me for a year and a half and I didn't know and now she will be depressed for the next five years going to therapy. The problem that we have as men is that we don't like to think that our women are capable of cheating. And to take it a step further, according to research, they are more likely to cheat. That's why we believe these excuses like he's just a friend 
That's why we don't check her phone because we trust her. The therapist is telling these women that it's their responsibility to be aware of their partner's behavior to prevent being flabbergasted for getting cheated on, risking mental health problems. And of course, the females can't handle that. But you have to protect yourself at all times because this is the part that hurts the most. You were for months. He tasted you. He was inside you in the bed I built. He's been defiling you, taking advantage of you. Finding out your woman has been cheating on you all the time while you were ignoring the red flags, while you were thinking she would never do something like that. That's the part that will mess you up the most. You have to change your mindset. If you decide to do something with a modern woman, then assume she will cheat on you. I know it's not romantic, but it's the truth. The red pill is a bitter and sour pill to swallow. It's not for everybody. Some people prefer to stay in la la land. But the results are in. Watch our video called Research Reveals Women Are More Likely To Cheat Than Men. It's all in there. Women get bored. Women are showered with attention. Check this out. A lot of DMs and stuff, but how often do you get DMs from guys that are like hitting you up maybe for a date or that it's clear that there's a uh, they're interested in you? Yeah, like daily. Like would you say 10 a day? Oh, yeah, maybe like 10 to 20 a day or something. Jade, what about you? I don't really count, but something like that. Okay. Yeah. I have no big check marks. No, so. just regular DMs from guys. Regular DMs? Not many. I okay. DM my friends and like that's it. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say I have quite a few. Quite a few? Like, okay. Often, yeah. Shout out to whatever for this clip. Average looking women are getting attention just for existing. Sooner or later, someone is gonna spark her interest and trigger her desire. Women also file 70 to 80 percent of divorces. If you're gonna get married, then assume your wife will divorce you sooner or later. But that's exactly why men are opting out because the juice is not worth the squeeze. You don't want to live your life watching over your shoulder. You want peace of mind. You told me I was crazy. What? You told me I was crazy for even thinking it. If we don't have trust, we have nothing. You said that to me, do you remember? I'm only gonna ask you this once. And I need the truth. Are you? Or were you ever fucking your therapist? I did. I, I cheated, but it's over now. Before we continue with the clips, let me talk to you for a bit. If a woman cheats on you, it's not your fault. Even if you treated her badly, it's not your fault. That sounds counterintuitive, right? Allow me to explain. If you treat a woman badly, cheating on you is not her only option. That's like saying you can only shoot a customer service representative for providing bad service. There are multiple ways you can deal with it. If a woman cheats on you, it's her choice to do so. You cannot stop her from doing it because she wants to do it. And that's why she will find a way to do it. Of course, she needs plausible deniability. That's why she will blame you for cheating. She will start fights about nothing because she needs to feel good about cheating. Cheating needs to feel justified. That's why it doesn't matter how good you treat her or how alpha you are or how big your D-I-C-K is. If a woman makes the choice, and that's exactly what it is, a choice. If a woman makes the choice to entertain another man and to cheat on you, that's all on her. That's not your fault. Did you tell her to cheat on you? Did you tell her, baby, go ahead and cheat on me? No, you did not. And for the smart asses that think you indirectly said it by treating her bad, 
These are exactly the people that use this as an excuse to cheat. What about breaking up? Did you think about that? What about working things out? Did you think about that? Nah, it feels so much better to cheat. It's not your fault, fellas. And it's not his fault either. Check this out. Hey, Elijah. I'm Joe. Look, man, um, just send your demo to my assistant, okay? And uh, we'll call you. Do you get all of your clients to sleep with you? Or did my girlfriend just seem like easy prey? I'm sorry, who's your girlfriend? Candace Stone. I saw you in your car. You've been texting her, you've been harassing her nonstop. I mean, is it fun for you? Do you, do you, do you, do you like pushing girls around? I mean, what are you talking about, man? I'm sorry, okay? I had no idea. I thought she was single. Honest to God, man. I... She never even mentioned you. Okay, I'm glad you brought it up. Look, man. She's been on me from the second we met. I'm sorry to have to tell you that, but you know, you gotta know who you're with. She's the type, you just give her a look and then just spread wide open. Taylor. <laughs> These are gonna be bitches, right? <laughs> the hell are you gonna do? This is pure gold. Don't think that women are giving the guys they are cheating with a hard time. Nobody is forcing her to do anything. Nobody is forcing her to do anything. We already showed you how much attention average looking women are getting on a daily basis. So that is expected. Guys will try to get with your girl, especially if she is attractive and puts herself out there. But at the end of the day, she has the last word. Nothing is going to happen without her consent. Your problem is not with the other guy. If it's not him, it's someone else. It's her responsibility. There's no excuse for cheating. It's called cheating for a reason. This back is between me and you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Oh. Ah! Just take whatever you want. On your knees now! Oh, God. Wait, stop, stop! Stop. I love you, Candace. I don't care about what happened between you and Elijah. And if you love me, we can get past this. We can get past anything. I, 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 know, I know you do. I can see it in no, your eyes. No, just let me go, Joe. Tell, tell, tell me, you don't love me. I don't. I don't love you. I never have. One of the worst things you can do as a man is to fight over a woman, especially a woman that cheated on you. A big mistake men make is trying to convince women to be with them. You're only making it worse. You will only appear weak in her eyes. And that's exactly what you are, weak. Why are you fighting for a woman that's not worth it? She proved it to you. Why are you fighting the guy she's cheating with? It's not his fault and it's not gonna change anything. Shout out to True Story for sharing cheating stories on a daily basis. I've heard a bunch of stories where the guys end up fighting each other and it got really ugly. Guys ending up in jail, it's not worth it, man. One of the reasons women cheat on their man is because they know they can. Check this out. You don't mean that. You don't, you don't mean that. Stop it. You don't. You're crazy. What are you gonna do about it, Joe? Hmm? What are you gonna do about it? Hmm? In this clip, she throws pages from a special book on Joe. In real life, women hit men more than men hit women. Remember this? Do you know I'm 115, well not anymore, but I was 115 pounds. I'm What's a 115 pound woman in your I have the capacity of you. That's not the question, that's not the question. <laughs> 
You started. You started these things. You don't think you're going to get up on the stand, Johnny, and say she started it? Really? I have never been able to overpower you. That's the difference between me and you. Why did you try? And that's the difference that the whole world and then a jury and then a judge will see is that there is a very big difference between me and you. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? Women get away with this foolishness because they are not held accountable for it. They don't have as much to lose as men. They even gain resources. Women are aware of this. That's why you never take her back. If you love me, we have a chance. Joe is such a fool because he believes in love. The fairy tale version of love. He did everything in his power to save back. He loves her despite all her shortcomings and demons she has. He saw the best in her and brought it out, hoping that she would love him for it, not knowing that she could never love him. Chad knows. Beck will always leave someone like you for someone who can take her places. We never made it to a single party because she couldn't jump on me fast enough. Young Tupac also learned the hard way. But then, like, I, I, was, I was liking this girl in Tam, and, um, and I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful and you deserve the best. And she told me I was too nice. I couldn't believe it. We, we, it wouldn't work because I was too nice. Taking her back only makes the problem worse. You just thought her she can get away with cheating. She will do it again. A relationship should be built on trust. Trust is broken. A relationship without trust is like a car without fuel. It can't move ahead. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Man, that's where we work in. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.